this is a, a jacket that Judy Garland wore at her CBS television series here in the United States. And uh, here are Judy's shoes that I got at the uh, Sid Love auction uh, that she wore in the movie I Could Go On Singing in one of the scenes. Then, of course, uh, different photos of Judy. I started here. This was my uh, beauty salon hairstyling uh, decor. That I had a salon for many years in San Francisco during the daytime, and then at nighttime, I wore the Pinocchio singing. Here's my New Orleans tribute. And then the Judy Garland uh, shrine starts here with different posters from her movies from the uh, 40s and 50s and 60s. Lobby cars that we bought in San Francisco many years ago when they were playing and I, I was able to get them from the theater owners. Some were bought in uh, special bookstores that had posters for sale. An original poster that with time has faded, that this, this was from Carnegie Hall, but has faded because of time. Uh, a, a picture that Judy had in her house in Bel Air, uh, and it's a and uh, check signed by her. A picture that Judy signed for the fan club when I was involved in the fan club in the United States. Then, as we go this way, this is what we call the Oz Room, where we have a lot of dishes from the Wizard of Oz collection from the 70s and 80s that came out. Then we have we can always put some music behind, or <laughs> instrumental over the rainbow or something. Mm -hmm. Here are some uh, uh, original uh, theatrical posters, like the Wizard of Oz as an old one, and then newer versions that came out later on. Here's a whole collection of clowns that I have uh, uh, taken upon, uh, giving them a home for many years. Uh, Judy Garland, uh, uh, Dorothy Wig, that I got during the 70s. Okay, as we go upstairs, we'll have a, a theatrical section of many people I work with at Pinocchio Club, and some people I never got to work with, but I got to interview through my website some of the famous impersonators like the late Danny LaRue from England and then um, more Danny LaRue here and then the late Jim Bailey. Here we have uh, from Finocchio Club uh, LaVron Cummings who used to work in the show with me and then here Holly White who's still alive, he lives in Hawaii. This is the late Carol Wall who was the MC of the show. Here were the Finocchio events, the chorus line that opened for the show for us. And then here are many movie stars, many of them who came to see the show of Finocchio's, and then they autograph photos for me. Some are gone, like Martha Ray and Baby Reynolds, and so on. There's still some of them here still alive. Lena Horn, who's gone now. And our sisters, an original uh, diamond uh, light choker that belonged to Lucille Ball. Then there's a, behind here, there's a, a photo of um, Sid Love with me when I bought the, uh, the Judy Garland shoes at the auction in the 70s. And at the same time, Joey Loft his son, and then Rona Barrett, who was at the auction, and then many years later, Lorna Luft, uh, in a show she did here in Las Vegas. Craig Ferguson from Scotland, in here. Here's one of the latest uh, shows I did here as Judy. Here, photos like 
Eartha Kitt, that day Tony Kurt, who was very nice to me, and we kept in touch through the years. The same thing with Robert Goulet, we kept in touch through the years. The Lady Baracci and uh, Rock Hudson, which is a very rare picture because he didn't have to, he didn't like to be taking photos with people. Uh, so, and then my friends Olga and Tony from Cuba, we, I impersonate Olga doing some of the songs as boy chick. And this was, they were very young in the 50s in Cuba and then later on in Miami. So this is part of the collection. The other collection I have in, in different rooms are the Judy Garland um, musical arrangements that Mort Lindsay did, like What Not My Love, Never Will I Marry, what, one of the overtures, Together Whenever We Go, and uh, other songs I got at the auction, which I've used in my own act. So this is just, uh, and this, this is a photograph of uh, Judy at the palace, one of her last appearances in this country in New York. Here's a nice picture that uh, Tony Curtis autographed for me when he came to my salon. It's a long story. They filmed at my hair salon in San Francisco a pilot movie for a TV called Spies. And uh, here's a, an autographed picture of uh, somewhere here. Uh, that's why I have it. Yeah, oh, yes, Carol Channing. She autographed it for me in San Francisco. And I get uh, this, this uh, very famous impersonator. Charles Pierce in this country who is going nowadays and I won uh, uh, a show he was having with different people in the in, uh, around 1969 and I won this uh, for doing Judy but that's a very nice thing to have because Charles Pierce autographed it